Hello everyone, Paul here from Maplewood Studio. How you all doing? Today I'm back here on the Anderson's Music Store YouTube channel looking at the last in four affordable microphones that I've been going over over the last month. Uh, today it's another AKG and it's the C3000. <laughs> So here we have the C3000, another affordable large diaphragm condenser microphone, again from AKG, so there's two from AKG. In the box we have all the gubbins you'd expect, instruction manual, sticker, uh, all that bit, warranty. And in the box we have obviously the microphone, and this is the only one in this series that has a shock mount basket. Really nice thing to have. And of course we have the microphone itself. Again, like some of the others, there's no storage pouch for this. So something to consider, you want to get a bag or something to keep this in. And like I mentioned before, put those silicon gel sachets that come with these uh, electrical goods in the bag to absorb any moisture, stops any of the damage happening via moisture, that is obviously, to the microphone itself. Shock mount basket, can't stress enough, very useful to have. Obviously, it's not essential in all situations and you can live without them, but if you're sticking this on a floor, on, on a stage, or on a desk for some voiceover work, or on a you know, stand just for vocal recordings full stop, it's gonna support the microphone and try to capture those vibrations and cancel them before they get into the microphone when you're recording. Large diaphragm condenser microphone, cardioid pattern again, so we're looking in front and rejecting sound from the rear. Uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so again, full frequency response. To me and my ears, this microphone offers a really nice overall recording. On the drums, you can hear a lot of depth going on, still with a lot of clarity. On the electric guitar, it sounds great, it sounds nice, big and fat, great recording there. And on the acoustic guitar, all those transient, everything cutting through nicely. And as I've stressed before in other videos, when uh, do the audio for this is no EQing, no flattering of the audio at all. It's just a limiter over the output bus, so the signal is of a sort of level where you can listen to it sensibly on YouTube and stuff, and to capture any transients that might spike through, just the odd one, so we don't limit to compress. Uh, yes, yeah, so 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. We've got a bass roll off filter again on the side here, little side switch. Uh, this one is slightly more aggressive than others I've seen. It cuts in around 500 hertz with a six dB drop per octave. So quite a pokey little bass filter and um, you know, sub 500, you're gonna start rolling off any of those low frequencies. Also makes the microphone sound a little bit more open because you're not getting all that muddy sort of sound cutting in there. And we've got a 10 dB pad switch on the side, which enables this when that is engaged to put into uh, sound pressure levels of 150 dB. Again, crazy loud, but um, that's 110 dB with the pad on, so 140 with it out. Again, it's more than uh, ample and you've got plenty of headroom in that microphone for recording some low, loud sound sources. Build quality. Excellent, it's a nice quality looking bit of kit. Got a slight, it's not black, it's like a, a metallic-y, not quite metallic -y, a very dark grey. Uh, nice looking bit of kit, looks quality. Um, and again, if this was in front of a client or on a stage or whatever, it looks a serious bit of kit. It's, uh, it's nice visually, it looks professional. Mounting it in the shock mount, dead simple. You just drop it in and then tighten up the collar underneath. That is it. And once the microphone is in there, it won't move. Obviously, loosen off the collar and you can rotate the microphone to get into the position that you need it to be. Uh, I love these shock mounts. Um, they've been the same design for years and that's obviously for a very good reason that they work. They're just very, very good. Yeah, so you just hang the microphone if it was on an overhead. Again, you'd want a decent mic stand if you're putting this overhead on a drum kit. It's a little bit weighty, not stupid, crazy heavy weight, but you, you wouldn't get away with a cheap, affordable mic stand. You'd be gaffer taping it up and putting weights on it to try and stop it drooping. So make sure if you're gonna put it on an overhead position, you're gonna get some good sounding, uh, good solid mic stands. So that's about all there is to say. So let's check out the sound files and let me know what you think this mic uh, delivers in the comments section below. <laughs> Thank you.
behind the drum kit and this time we have the AKG C3000 in front of me uh, again as per all the previous videos of the affordable microphone series I've done uh, a meter and a half in front of the drum kit waist height in fact the position hasn't moved for all of four of these videos uh, looking slightly down at the drum kit um, again there is no pad switch engaged although it's on offer so we're running the mic gain at around ooh, nine o'clock so not a lot of mic gain needed for this um, drum kit Mapex Meridian Obsidian Black Series, old school sounding, 24 by 14, uh, solid front head, couple of felt strips, big boomy bass drum, which is what I like. And as I mentioned in the, uh, the other videos, we're looking for a overall good sounding recording to work with if we were gonna take this further in a song demo or, or mixing or whatever. Uh, so we want good bass drum, overall nice sounding open drum kit with nice clarity on the cymbals but we want to make sure the snare drum's caught in there and the toms if i was recording this kit uh for for that reason to go further with it i would change the snare i wouldn't use this snare it sounds a little bit dry and thuddy um i'll probably use my 402 on there just because it's a bit brighter and it would you know give me something more clarity to cut through in the some more yeah something that would cut through more in the mix is what i'm thinking of and that's what i meant to say anyway the aim of the uh, video is to demonstrate the microphone. So, yeah, recording into RME Fireface 800. Uh, like I said, gain at nine o'clock. No processing, just a limiter over the mix so we can get it nice and loud without just take those odd clips out. So we're not uh, limiting it so it compresses. We're just making sure the transients, nothing ca uh, cuts through, you know, and, and uh, basically sounds rubbish. So anyway, let's see what this bad boy sounds like. So there you have the AKG C3000. Uh, I think you'll agree with me, it delivers overall a really good recording, whether it be on drums, acoustic guitar, or electric guitar. Got a really nice natural sound to it with the drums, you had lots of punch and depth going on. Acoustic guitar, it captured all those transients and that nice bit of clarity in the top end. It's just a general, really nice, well-built uh, microphone that delivers excellent audio representation, or audio recordings, rather. Um, here at Anderson's Music Store in Guildford, at the moment we're offering this one pound shy of £100 at £99. 
always check the website for latest prices and stock availability. Uh, but just to put in that into context, what you're getting for your money, if you were to buy the basket alone, uh, the shock mount basket as a replacement part, uh, I think that's around the 30, 35 pound mark. So you're getting a lot of product for your money. And the shock mount basket, especially if you're a singer, songwriter or acoustic player, is really gonna help you out. It's a really nice thing to have. And it just, you don't have to worry about those floor tapping moments quite so much. Um, but yes, Excellent build quality, excellent design, uh, a really, really nice microphone from AKG. So there you go. That was the C3000. I've been Paul. Take it easy, all. Bye.